Lovers is Ahine Ata here again with 411 on Movies. This is the show where you get the latest happenings in the world of movies and of course the latest films showing in cinemas across Nigeria. So stay with me and let's get started. <laughs> If you are a biased critic of Nollywood works, then I have a message for you from Nollywood filmmaker Biodun Steven. The award-winning director posted on Instagram stating that Nollywood filmmakers and actors will never get it right when it comes to pleasing Nigerian audience. She said, and I quote, with Nigerian audience, you can't get it right. You can't win. So dear filmmaker and actor, put your best foot forward and know with your chest say you gave the film your all she ended this caption saying this post doesn't glorify mediocrity put your best foot forward always fans have been wondering where the filmmaker's latest message stems from considering that her 2021 movie breaded life made over 80 million naira at the nigerian box office and the movies the wildflowers and strangers which are currently showing in cinemas across nigeria are directed by her what is a good adventure movie without some thrills and action absolutely nothing and that is why tom cruise went all out to serve us with his most daring stunt yet that is flying a fighter jet in his latest movie top gun maverick Cruz is renowned for doing his audacious stunt himself, but this time around he made sure his co-stars Miles Teller, Monica Barbaro and Glenn Powell do their stunts by learning how to fly fighter jets. If you have watched this movie then you will understand that it takes a lot of guts to put off this stunt and I'm certainly not surprised that the film is doing so well at the box office. The film is now the highest grossing debut of Tom Cruise after 40 years of his career. I will tell you more about the box office success of this movie in the box office segment so keep watching. Moving on, it seems like things are coming together for Vin Diesel and the entire production team of Fast X. Dominic Toretto now has a grandmother in the upcoming action flick. Diesel announced via a video on social media that EGOT winning actress Rita Monero will play Dominic Toretto, that is Vin Diesel's grandmother. Monero said in the video that she is elated to be joining the franchise in that specific role. The Monero news comes weeks after Luis Lateria was named the director of the film, replacing Justin Lin, who abruptly left the job just days into shooting, although he remains as the producer of the project. Fast and Furious 10 is the second to the last film in the Fast and Furious franchise and we look forward to it. Once business partners but now battling each other in courts, that is the situation of things for Warner Bros and its longtime financing partner Village Roadshow as a judge agreed to send their dispute to arbitration. Village Roadshow has teamed with the studio on numerous blockbusters over 25 years but the relationship went sour when Warner Bros opted to release the Matrix Resurrections simultaneously in theaters and on HBO Max along with the rest of its 2021 slate. The Village Road Show sued in February alleging that Warner Bros had sabotaged the film's box office revenue in order to boost the streaming service. Also alleging that Warner Bros was moving forward with projects without participation from the Village Road Show which is in violation of their agreement. The Village Road Show's attorney also raises concern that it has not been notified about one of Bros projects in development that are based on its co-financed films. Those include an Ocean's sequel starring Margot Robbie and a Sherlock Holmes TV series for HBO Max, both of which have been reported by news outlets. However, in a court filing, Warner Bros. executive denied that there is a cast or a budget for the Ocean's film, stating that the Village Road show faces no imminent threat of harm as it has no current plans to do more day and date releases in theaters and on HBO Max. Now it's time for us to check out the movies showing in cinemas across Nigeria. 
The perfect arrangement. The perfect arrangement stars Sharon Oja Adonia de Bobby Uboma, Mr. Macaroni, Docas Shola Fabson, and Pere from Big Brother Ninja. The film tells the story of Tade, a young girl from an affluent family who develops feelings for two brothers. Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick is an action flick starring Tom Cruise as Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell, who after more than 30 years of service as one of the Navy's top aviators, must confront the ghost of his past and his deepest fear. The film has grossed over $282 million globally in less than one week. Millions, the, millions, the rise of group. Set just after the event of the first film, this time in the 1970s, a 12-year-old Gru is growing up in the suburb. A fanboy of a team of supervillains known as the Vicious Six, Gru hatches a plan to become evil enough to join them. When the Vicious Six ousted their leader, the legendary fighter Wild Knuckles, Gru interviews to become their newest member. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so right now and kindly follow Afro Rival TV across all our social media platforms. And that is all on this week's episode of 411 on Movies. My name is Ahina Arthur. Thank you for watching and please join me. Next time.